This project, we are going to demo how to use PC Duna V2 to create a SD card, production SD card, then use it to flash itself. So in, let's look at the setup. We get a power, we power it through the DC port input and with a 5 volts 2 amp power supply, HDM plugged with a hub, USB hub, and with a wireless keyboard. Now, let's check the kernel version, okay? Called U, U name dash. Okay, we can see the data is March 4th, 2014. So this is an older kernel version. So we need to first go to pcduna.com to download the latest version. Okay, let's see what to do. Here, we click, select the correct SSID, and then go to preference, network connection. While it's security, we put the password. Save. Now let's look at this. Thing. Okay, so we are on internet. Click network browser. I get a black screen, so let's disable the screen saver. Disable. PCDuna.com. Uh, let's go to download image for V2. This is should be the latest one. At a uh, June 20th, and we want to have the DD because uh, we're going to create the bootable, not the bootable, the production SD on PC Duna itself. So click, oh, it's downloading. I get a what SD card do I have? I get a eight, uh, sixteen gigabytes, gigabytes sent disk. No. plug in. Oh no. Okay, plug in. Open. I get some previously loaded files there. Let, let me delete it. My MMC card is mounted as MMC BLK0 on the DV. And the kernel image has been downloaded on the home Ubuntu downloads. So let's navigate to that directory and do DD. Okay. We navigate to the download directory and use a command sudo DD as shown on the screen to create the production SD card. Is a FAT32. The command, the input are going to be the input file going to be the image file, and the output are going to be the MMC block zero. And uh, after we create it, we're going to power cycle the PC. Okay, card. after power cycle, we see that uh, the LED is blinking. So let's wait for a couple of seconds. Okay, it stops blinking, so let's power cycle it again. again. Oops, I forgot to take out the SSD card, so it begins to flash it again. So let's wait. It's done. 
and let me remove the SD card. Set. The SD card has been removed. Now let's look at the screen. Okay. Finally it comes up. It's required for the update.ss. I think I have it here. So let me plug in. Yep, I plug in my card and it says take about 10 minutes to finish. Minutes, it's done. It's so uh, USB dongle, it says it's been removed and reset it. Going to boot up and after that we're going to use the command your name dash A to check the kernel version. Okay. Still loading up. The unit. Yes, it has been updated.